You're watching Glenn Beck. All right, we're going on the uh, list of the things that you need to do. This is a strange one to me, um, and I'll, let me explain what I what I felt when I wrote this. Traditions. You might think, if you're a longtime listener of mine, that I might have thought of Michelle Obama saying, we have to change our traditions when I wrote this. But I didn't think of that until I got here. Um, when I wrote traditions, I thought Christmas and Thanksgiving. And what I wrote was preserve, uh, preserve those things that are true. Preserve what's important. Shed everything else. Conserve and preserve was exactly what I wrote. Conserve and preserve. Meaning, don't get rid of, get rid of the commercial. Get rid of all the other things that don't matter. Um, and preserve and concentrate the, um, the traditions and the importance of those traditions in your children and in your own mind. Christmas and Thanksgiving were the ones that came to my mind. Electronics. Uh, electronics, um, I, I kept thinking, uh, make sure that you have everything that's important on paper. Paper copies of important documents. Know where your deeds are and take them with you in an emergency. You know, the Russian gangs um, in, um, in, in revolution, um, what they have done in the past is they will come in, and I, I believe they're here now, they, uh, they'll come into towns uh, of real wealth and there will be an emergency and, they, and everybody will evacuate the town and then the Russian gangs move in. And if it's, it's bad enough, this is what happened in Eastern Europe, um, uh, you come to your house and you open it up and there they are. They're like, whoa, 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 what are you doing in our house? And you're like, this ain't your house. Oh, where's your, where's your deed? If you could preserve, if you could have your deed, they just shoot you right away. That if you didn't have your deed, they gave you a chance to escape. I don't know why you should have your deed now, um, but take your deeds with you and have uh, paper documents. Um, if indeed we are entering the times that we have seen before in Eastern Europe, uh, you have to think differently. I've said before in the past, you have to think like a, um, um, a, a German Jew in 1936, 39. Reduce and remove electronics. Reduce. Reduce your dependency on them and remove those electronics that you can. I'm not saying that you become afraid of electronics. I, I mean, I'm the guy who's starting an internet-based television show. So I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm just saying let's not become totally dependent. Because if something goes down, are you capable of finding or doing anything? Education. Education is going to play a big role in the next um, you know, few months just in our political uh, debate, but I don't really care about the political debate. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find answers on education. First of all, apprenticeships. Apprenticeships are the future. They were the past and they are the future. Uh, you need to discuss with your children the, the, the um, discuss and compare the value of the school for what you can earn. So in other words, how much are we paying? And, and what are you going to get at the end? What kind of job can you get in the end? Is it worth it? It's, it's, it's crazy just to say, hey, I don't really know what kind of car I want to buy. I'm just going to buy that really expensive one because it has a nice label on it. It's crazy. Dismiss the labels. Yale came to mind. Um, labels need no mean nothing. They mean nothing. What do you get at the end of it? What, of, what, is, what is a value? Other options. Look for them. O online. Um, you know, uh, 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 school that you can, uh, school that w for homeschooling for yourself uh, and your children. Look at, the, you know, I, I love these people that say, you know, I've got $128,000 in debt and I don't have a job. Well, you know what? There are other schools. They're faith based schools or you can spend you know three thousand dollars a semester and they're good schools oh well 
Teach your children now that college is not a given. It's not even a requirement in a sane society. It is nice, but not everybody needs it. Trade schools are fine. I graduated from high school. I was reading about Harry Truman uh, today. Harry Truman graduated from high school. He was a pretty smart guy. They made fun of him at that time. He read the encyclopedia, the entire encyclopedia, cover to cover, like five times. Um, demand merit from the school and from the student or pull your time and money. Teach your children, you don't waste money. If you're not going to do the job or they're not teaching enough, and don't be afraid to do it. Always read. Educate yourself. Always read. Have a hard copy of important books and documents. This is an important one. The classics. Um, the things that are to you don't need a hard copy of my books. Um, the things that are really, really, truly valuable. Um, the Constitution um, and any of the, um, uh, any, of the, any of the classics have a hard copy of them. Um, you, you just don't know, especially with this one. Something, God forbid, goes wrong. All of my, I mean, all of my new library is all electronic. All I have is the old books, but I got news for you. Really, the old books are the, the best ones. Going on with education. Learn old and lost practices. Talking mending, canning, farming, things like that. Learn how to fix an engine. This here, learn old lost practices. This one goes to what's of value and skills and knowledge is of value. Um, learn to fix an engine. I, ca I can't fix an engine. I don't even know. I, don't e <laughs> I barely even know how they work. Our kids certainly don't. I thought this was interesting. Relearn and teach your children how to read a map. Not GPS, not GPS positioning, a map. Stay up on the true news. Be very, very careful on your news. I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it. Look, I, I worked at CNN and I worked at Fox. I've seen them both. I know how both of them work. I, I, I've seen it from the inside. Um, stay up on the true news. This one, this is under education. Know the other side. If you don't know the other side's argument, you should have to, in a debate, say, tell me what your opponent believes. And your opponent, you'd have to say it, and your opponent would have to say, yes, that's right. Then you repeat it, you got it? Is that right? Yes. Okay, good. Here's why it's wrong. If you don't know what the other side, if you can't state the other side's opinion, you don't really have a leg to stand on. You don't know what you even believe. You have to know the other side of the argument. Then we get to business and jobs. Do the best work you can. Be the best that you can be. You, I can guarantee you, you can be better at whatever it is you're doing than you are right now. I, I know I can be. Now, what's stopping you from being better? In my case, time. I'm tired. I, 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 I'm, I'm doing uh, too much. But I, I don't know exactly what to cut. Um, but I know I can be better. Is there any way to be better? Be better. Be the employee that no one else can fire. Be irreplaceable. Be the one that if they're going to make cuts, you know, no, 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 you can't fire Judy. No, 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 Judy is, no, 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 no. Be that person. Teach your children to be that person. We'll start with small businesses and, um, and more on your job and your livelihood. And then we also move to life. What do you need to prepare and do in your own personal life? Back in a second.